What I'm about to show you is graphic in nature. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. Alan Roberts, every damn day for this, like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and share my videos. This is a no-swearing video again, or low-swearing video, however I can best I can do. Uh, what I'm about to show you is no different than watching a heroin addict shoot up, watching an alcoholic take shots, uh, watching, you know, uh, some, ad some addict feed their addiction. Here you go. So in case you're unaware, that's Miss Tess Holiday eating a cake uh, that has depicts her on the cover of Cosmo. Good job again, Cosmo UK. Uh, and first of all, what kind of savage eats a cake from the center? It's not like she hasn't had practice. But two, to the people standing around laughing, making light of it, and everyone like that, thinking it's funny, you are horrible people. Uh, all of you, none of you care about her. I don't, if, 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 I don't care who is standing there. I don't care if it's a close relative. I don't care who it is. Anybody that's laughing at her and making light of that does not actually care about that woman. Because let me tell you something. She is a 300 plus, 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 plus pound woman uh, at 5'5", 33 years old. She is not going to live long. If you look at her knees in the, in the, in the cover. Osteoarthritis is just around the corner. I mean, the, the, the degeneration of cartilage and bone in her knees, in my opinion, of course, is inevitable if it hasn't already started. Uh, but, you know, diabetes, I would imagine, especially if, you know, she just eats cake like that. Now, I'm sure they're going to say like, oh, well, I only had a few pieces of it and everything like that. Uh, as a newsflash to any obese person, anybody that's 300 pounds plus at 5'5", five five, you've had enough cake. Uh, you, 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 a, a piece is is not acceptable. You need to get to a healthy weight. You you need to eat healthy food, get to a trainer, eat in a caloric deficit until you are not morbidly obese. There's a reason why they put morbidly in front of it. Morbidly means you are close to dying. Um, and this woman is morbidly obese. There is, that is a fact. Uh, I don't know. I saw one, one in one area, somebody said, somebody said she was a size 22. Oh, whatever. Uh, I, I, I'm not buying that. And her, her dress size does not matter to me. Her looks, her face, she's a pretty woman. That does not matter to me. What matters to me is that she is glorifying an unhealthy lifestyle with the help of Cosmopolitan Magazine, mind you. Glorifying an unhealthy lifestyle. And even when, when, when addressed, when you know it was brought to her by multiple interviewers, oh, I'm not glorifying it. What was this? What was this? You sitting there eating cake. You know, a whole, sitting there with a whole cake eating, and I understand it's for publicity, but you shouldn't be eating cake. That may, that scoffs at the people saying that you that you are that scoffs at people like me saying that you are portraying an unhealthy lifestyle. You scoff at us by then portraying unhealthy habits for a person of your size. For anybody to just wolf cake down as a whole, sitting there, that that is not a healthy action. Cake should be cut into slices, into portions. If your portion, if you're trying to portray, portray that your portion is the freaking cake. That is unhealthy. The problem with Tess Holiday and the fat acceptance movement is that they want to ignore the fact that it is a horribly, horribly, horribly dangerous thing to be morbidly obese. It is. It, 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 is, it, it does not mean you need to hate the person or dislike the person. What it does mean is that that person is themselves unhealthy. They are treating themselves unhealthy. I heard her say that she was like, well, you know, you need to be mentally, you know, I need, I need to love myself first. You want to love yourself? Fitness and mental health go very hand in hand. Hormonally, uh, psychologically, they go very, very, very hand in hand. Uh, and to just scoff at it and say you need to do one first, there's always going to be that excuse why well, I need to be mentally right for it. I need to be mentally right for it. You're never going to be okay to have to push yourself to the efforts to get healthy from the state that this woman is in. It is never going to be comfortable. It is never going to be okay, feel good. It is not. It is, it is going to be a long, hard road if she makes it. Because if she just keeps ballooning up, I believe she's gained a lot of weight in the last couple of years. If she keeps this path going, 
it is only a matter of time. This is going to be an unfortunate thing. That, that that's 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 my worry. This is going to be an unfortunate thing that in five years from now, this woman has a stroke or a heart attack or something horribly goes wrong with her. If she was saying, "Okay, I'm a big woman," I, you know, I, I, I feel good about myself, but I am going to get healthy, portraying that message, stating that I am morbidly obese and yet trying to uh, get to a healthy weight for my family, for my children, for society, since she has a voice, that would be a different story. But just saying, accept me for, you know, for being morbidly obese and flaunting it, I'm sorry, people. That is just not acceptable. It is a societal issue. It affects all of us in healthcare costs. It truly does. Around the world, it's getting to be. So until that stops affecting the rest of us, I don't see why we shouldn't care. Not to mention that, that if you're just a good person, you don't want to see other people suffer, like the people laughing and joking around, watching her shove cake in her already morbidly obese face. You people are horrible people again. I, I can't get over it. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the matter. My name's Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. And I'm on the internet at Every Damn Day Fitness.net. Fat acceptance is literally morbid obesity acceptance. God damn.